As you can see, we have an orange horizon. This is good for when you want to get into the mall and when you want to extract. Getting in, you can see a lot of people, although they can do the same and see you. If you're watching this video, you probably play like me, which is a... Uh, well, it's not a rat, but Landmark would call me a rat. You know why? Because he can't get with the times. Now listen. <laughs> plan is loot, shoot, and scoop. What are we looting? Niche valuables. What are we shooting? Scabs and threats to our lives like DMCs. And uh, where are we scooting? Extra. Whatever extra. It doesn't matter as long as I extra. I'm using the UTG Lepper site on the M4. This is all just slapped together parts by the way, so don't make fun of me in the comments, but like... Yeah. I'm a blue boy, as you can tell by the untied gear. And I'm very invisible, but I'm also very dangerous. Because instead of using 5-5-A-1, like all the meta freaks, I'm using 6-A-1, which is like an insult to the caliber, but also a good budget round considering it still breaks up level 4 pretty easily, which is the most common armor you're going to see at this point in life. The PM. You're going to like someone and then shoot them in the head. If you've ever had a raid on Interchange where you're a 1v5, uh, the best thing to do, if they do see you, try and kill one. If you kill one, uh, then reposition yourself around them. So like, you have to go around the map. It's a very lengthy fight, but it's a worthwhile fight. Because you will win. That might have been killer, I don't know. I've never heard him giggle like that, but... He does have normal scab voice lines. Ollie is a different story. I don't remember if all those doors spun up. Now oh, there's a scab up here, so let's look for him. Insulating tape that goes for like 10k. Oh, what the? Is. That was a different scale, I'm pretty sure. The voice line, anyway. He had BT. He shot me with something. He shot me with a T46. That's fine. T46. Ooh. That is a treasure right there. Hot helmet, why not? Doesn't sell for a lot. This is the best piece of gear he has. A lot further back here. Good thing about Ollie? All the shelving. It provides cover, but this works both ways for you and your enemy. You want to play defensively in this part. You never want to get offensive. Pushing gets killed in these close quarters environments. You may know. M4s are very expensive. We'll check if power is turned on. You can tell because safe room extract will be available. It doesn't necessarily mean it's open though. Since we haven't heard a lot of stuff go on, I think it's safe to say we can go deeper into the mall. Because you don't want to go down there, that's Murder Hall. That leads to all the tech stores and all the valuable stuff. That was a flashlight. 
think from a scav. And this is the back room. I like calling it that because it's just a back room. It connects that hallway to Goshen, so now we're in the side of Goshen. Just to be a good guy. Come in here. I'm just gonna disable the alarms. Because I hate hearing those things. Even though I'm probably not gonna hit those keys. It's better to do that. Because then it makes people... Oh, great. Guess I'm going back upstairs. These fine scabs. Probably doing the same thing I am. A PM? Whatever that was, I'm pretty sure that's a PM. Oh, this is a bad bag, don't pick that up. Uh, I can drop that, and I feel comfortable with dropping this helmet. okay thing about these peaks, your left arm is going to be the first thing to disappear if you get hit, which is fine, because the damage spread for that, the multiplier for it, is 0.7, which won't do a lot in terms of hurting you, but it will be an annoyance when you're trying to ADS. They're still shooting? I don't think I'm too heavy, so... Should be able to make this little sprint jump if I could do it properly. Oh, I lost. Oh, missed it. Nope. Almost. I just don't like it when that light's on. You want to start to sprint before you jump. And as soon as you start sprinting, you want to jump because then your guy will jump off his right foot instead of his left. Which for some reason carries him farther. <laughs> Don't ask me, I don't make the rules. This will have another Iskra for me. Oh, what the? I was wrong. I thought it would be an Iskra. It's actually... Niche parts. I think I can actually take that. Yep. That could help me build like a... Budget AK later. I missed the jump. Okay, that's fine. Didn't look like anyone was down here. <laughs> Someone's still downstairs waving that light around. I'm not gonna bother with tech light right now. Make my way over to... Could have swore I just heard someone. I'm gonna move away from that. If you want to make a fight, be the first one to make a move. Because once you hear each other, essentially game over for hiding. That's a scout right there. Is that killer? That's killer. That changes a lot. Yeah, so someone's fighting killer. I just got him to move. What I'm gonna do now. Oh my gun out. I don't know which floor he's on. Pretty sure he's first. No need to show anyone. Sounds like a big gun. 
I'm gonna do antagonize him. But you can tell it's Killo because of his armor. He only wears tan, and then you can see the sleeves, they're black with white stripes. I don't know where he ran, I'm pretty sure he ran to that little intersection. I think I helped the guy kill him to be honest, but that's fine. Now the question is, where is he going to go? I'm going to restock. Again, I am out of max. I think that's Killa. It's Killa talking. He just said GG easy. So we know there's someone over there. So the sight line is that escalator and that escalator. That's what he has. So I have to come in from the side over here or I just leave. I don't like the odds of my survival. But I have to be willing to take them, you know? That was killer though. That makes sense. I'm gonna make my way over. Top of painkiller. So the pathing we're gonna take is around this corner to the right. We're gonna go through Rasmussen. To provide cover from uh, Attic, which is Tarkov's equivalent of Adidas. And we're gonna run around Generic, which is the tank store, I believe. That's what the name of the store is. I'm gonna see if Kill is still alive, if we can get the helmet. If we can't, it's fine. He's on my left. I don't know if this is a scab or killer. That's him. He's dead. Let's go. I'm leaving. This is just one way to do it. I no longer care about my gear. It is all about leaving with his. Thanks, pal. I'm gonna head out. Yes. Out of my way. Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, put me off. Put me off. I can't shoot. This is not how you're supposed to task, by the way. This is not how this is supposed to go. You're not supposed to be able to just do this. While it is nice, it is also very unorthodox. Biggest issue right now, since there's still scabs alive, there's probably going to be an extract camper or someone back here that just holds a stupid angle which I hate that about some people. Okay, it's clear. And this is what I mean by it's super bright at nighttime interchange. Look at this. You can see almost everything. So I think we spawned on the opposite side of the thing, so yeah. I'm not even gonna worry about exiting through the gate. We're just gonna drop. I love kill his helmet, the issue is the visor. That's it. But what we did today, what we did today is great. Now, I can turn in the helmet to uh, Jaeger for the task. And I'm gonna throw a nade over there because uh, extra campers. I don't know if that went far enough. Uh, it looks like it did. 
gonna run over here. We're going to leave. That raid. Can't wait to show that to Dylan. Enemy spot! <laughs>